He's the one directing traffic. He is the one they're all afraid of. He's the one that's king slime. He is the most dangerous of the 28 judge. I implore you not to grant him a bond. And for those reasons in the aggregate, um, I'm going to deny bond at this time. The Young Thug trial has been paused for several months until today, as it was on break due to a report that stated Young Thug has taken ill and was transported to the hospital Thursday. His attorney said in court the rapper was being evaluated and that he had no idea what his condition is currently. Thankfully, after a few months, Young Thug's health has become better. Sadly, with the new trial update, however, Young Thug Thug's life in prison sentence is now looking more likelier than ever. As the first day back in the YSL RICO trial, the courtroom was sent home after several altercations rised in and around the courtroom. Young Thug's life is in serious trouble due to this YSL case. Out of 28 members that were arrested in YSL on RICO charges, 13 of them have turned on Young Thug and began snitching. The main snitch, Lil Woody, it would be revealed today after several months why he snitched. A report would read, Brian Steele says Lil Woody was told he would get 25 years inside a federal prison in a different case if he did not cooperate against Young Thug, aka a snitch. The state refuses to give anything to the defense concerning the federal agent that went after Lil Woody with this. Brian Steele wants to put her on the stand to show the jury that Woody was told to lie about Jeffrey Williams. Specifically is on the recording KC that he will get that she spoke with the U.S. Attorney's Office and he will he is facing if he does not cooperate against Mr. Williams he's facing 25 years at a minimum charges in federal court and there's no parole. I do not have one document, not one note or memorandum provided in discovery concerning ATF agent Cunningham. As in the original report of Lil Woody snitching, it was revealed truth teller YSL Woody popped back out on the gram last year after cooperating with the police for three hours in solving 50 crimes, telling on Young Thug, YFN Lucci, and others. Ironically, in his caption, he claims he didn't cry or cooperate. As if you remember when Lil Woody originally snitched, this took the rap game by storm, as this would be Young Thug's reaction the following day inside a court. as Lil Woody helped the police solve 50 crimes in the Atlanta area. However, the weirdest part of trial returning today was this moment here, when a YSL member named Polo was doing very strange things inside of the courtroom. Young Thug's lawyer began asking the judge to have him removed from Young Thug's trial. Uh, I'll deal with that accordingly, but your client I noticed has been doing the same behavior and I believe Judge Adams inquired into it as well. So I don't believe that he may be doing just for the purposes of just drawing attention to himself. But um, if I, I, of course, sir, as you are well aware, I'm duty bound to consider whatever it is you want to tell me. But your clients nodded in affirmance. He just has some extra movements that the court entirety of this particular proceeding. So um, you haven't said anything up to this point in time, so I'm going to assume that, um, that that's something that you and he are working through. However, here's where things get interesting. Fans would investigate all of the YSL members currently in jail. Allegedly, Polo, the man acting strange, is in the same cell block as a man named Khalif Adams. This is another YSL member that was caught slipping young thug something during a court hearing. A report about this shared, My colleague Mark just obtained surveillance video that shows the moment prosecutors accuse young thug and his co-defendant, Khalif Adams, of conduring a hand-to-hand -hand deal in court.
The thread continues reading, Prosecutors say the surveillance shows Adam walking over to where Young Thug is seated with his attorney and then he drops narcotics in his hand. A deputy confronts Young Thug and he turns the item over to authorities. When deputies searched Adams, they found him in possession of narcotics wrapped in plastic and food seasoning to conceal the odor. According to investigators, Adams was then taken to Grady Hospital after he appeared to ingest other items of contraband in an effort to conceal the extent of his crime within the courtroom. Lastly reading, prosecutors filed a motion asking the court to make a finding of fact that court was delayed January 18th, 2023 because of the actions of defendant Williams and defendant Adams. As Young Thug's attorney would then go on to do an exclusive interview with a lawyer on the street, responding to the allegations of this crime occurring inside of the courtroom. Um, the reality is uh, Mr. Williams had nothing to, with what, to do with what went on in the courtroom on yesterday. Um, one of the co-defendants um, on his way to the restroom attempted to pass something to Mr. Williams who immediately turned it over to the deputy. Um, he did not know it was allegedly purchased? Did not know. Well, we don't know what it is. Um, did not know what it was, turned it over to the deputy right away. Um, the deputies took action. Uh, the individual who had the contraband, not Mr. Williams, uh, was taken into the back. However, this now raises the question of, is Polo taking stuff on purpose to have Young Thug's trial delayed once again? In case you're unaware, his lawyers at this moment are trying to make changes to the Young Thug name itself in the YSL business. You see, back on October 27th last year, Young Thug's Twitter account released a tweet stating, Jeffrey has reportedly cut ties with Young Thug. An online lawyer then released a statement regarding what exactly this means as paperwork was filed. This means that Jeffrey Williams plays the role slash character of Young Thug. The character Young Thug is technically a brand, it is not a person. The brand Young Thug is owned by the record label 300 Entertainment for entertainment purposes only. All lyrics that are used by the character of Young Thug relates to no human being as it is just entertainment for music. With Young Thug being a character, the actions and views made by him in music lyrics, music videos, and videos online cannot reflect back on the human Jeffrey Williams the person, as he was only being paid to play a character. Jeffrey Williams was a person portraying to be Young Thug on behalf of the company 300 Entertainment. As I know it sounds confusing, but that's exactly why Jeffrey Williams, aka Young Thug, has the greatest lawyers in the United States. A majority of the evidence against Young Thug is related and tied to the music that he has created. Lyrics dissing ops, explaining crimes, and so on. Jeffrey Williams had nothing to do with it. Young Thug was just doing it for entertainment purposes, and the lyrics do not add up to any crime. As this is a crucial step in his trial, all due to Gunna. As several months ago, Gunna was caught snitching on Young Thug in 4K to be released from prison early. as this current point in time was case breaking. As we would even see NBA Youngboy tap in, thousands of fans were asking his opinion on the YSL case and gunna snitching, where he had this to say. Don't call me asking me about what I think about the situation or what or do I think snitching. I honestly don't give not one 
As at this time of young boy reacting, Gunna would then be released from prison. This would then make Takashi 69 tap in as he hopped on a clubhouse call with WAC 100 to explain how Young Thug is now in a terrible situation due to Gunna's plea deal. So me pleading guilty is only making it worse for my men. It's I'm saying I was there. Yes, I did it. I plead guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. Anything you said in that courtroom is going to be used against your man, my man. That is over. As just a week after the call, he then met up with DJ Academics to share more thoughts on Gunna snitching. He just incriminated, implicated YSL being so now he's home, right? All the people who's locked up, like Jeffrey, like Young Thug, now he, he can't go with that defense. He can't go with the defense of saying, I'm a record label. As rappers know, Young Thug's life is in a terrible spot due to Gunna. It's now even led into Lil Baby's name getting involved in the Rico case. As what we are witnessing is a complete takeover of the rap industry with Rico charges by the Atlanta DA. She's been offering amazing proffer deals to these YSL snitches. And now we're starting to even see Lil Baby's name mentioned in the Rico files. As DJ Academic reported that Lil Baby, as well as other members of 4PF, are now next on the list. An in-depth investigation. Recent months you've had two high-profile racketeering cases. There's gonna be more. Over the next 60 days, you'll see two more. This then even got reactions from Lil Baby himself outside of an airport. How you doing, Lil Baby? Lil Baby. Well, baby, how's Young and Young Thug doing? Well, I know you know all the circumstances. Man, the Just want to see how they're holding up good? Sure. All right. Love what you're doing, man.